Uh, give me just a second here. I'm giving. I'm still giving people the ability to record. So that's fine. Can you change the light a little bit. We're losing uh, Kofi there in the background. Let me see if this if it's better over here. This is the room they gave me here. So yeah, yeah. Cool. Actually, why don't you sit on there? Is this better? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay, it's going to work. Guys. All right. Hey, thanks, Kofi, for joining us. We're going to go, uh, we'll start down the line here. Shannon Ryan, go ahead from the Tribune, lead off. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. yep. Okay. Um, Kofi, can you just explain that second half performance, you and the team, the difference there? Um, the difference was defense, man. Um, you know, we, we're a really good defensive team. And when we get going on defense and we talk and communicate, um, you know, we, we're active. You know, we help each other out. We're a really good team. And coach emphasizes it all the time that, you know, offense win games, but defense win championships. And that, that definitely proved it out there today where we came out. And we, had a, we had a different defensive presence that we, than we had from the first half. We just came out and dominated. <clears throat> all right, Scott Ritchie, you're up. And uh, Derek Piper on deck. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Kofi, it seemed like uh, Coach Underwood was challenging you, you know, in the first half of – and did that continue at halftime? And kind of what uh, you can share, just kind of what, what was he telling you and what did you need to do in the second half? Yeah, he definitely got on me. Um, you know, I, I was I was kind of I was, I was kind of playing with low energy in the first half. Wasn't doing what I was, what I was supposed to do, what the team needed me to do. Um, and, you know, he just got, got on me about, you know, being a better leader, you know, coming out there and playing with energy that the guys could feed off of. And just playing, having a big presence on the defensive end because that's what we do. You know, we play really good defense where we talk and when I'm good. So when I'm good, everybody's good. So like he, just, he just told me that the half, like, you know, he got on me a little bit, you know, got on me, got on me so yelling at me. He knows I like that, though, so he knows how to get me going. I mean, it just seemed like energy level, I mean, it was a noticeable change from everybody you know, in the second half. I mean, how much did you guys talk about about that, maybe, you know, about how that first half ended? Yeah, yeah, that first half, like I said earlier, it was it was horrible, you know, bad, both defensively and offensively, um, you know, but... Like I said earlier, you know, it's all about the defense. Um, when we're not shooting, when we're not shooting that well. When we got guys, you know, we shoot like 13% from three in the first half or whatever we shot, you know, and we got we to gotta pick it up on the defensive end because if the shot's not falling, you know, that's not going to be for 40 minutes. You have really good players on the team. So, like, if shot's not falling for the first half, we have to pick it up on the defensive end and make sure that we hold them to a low, a low amount of points so we can keep ourselves in the game. All right, Derek Piper, you're up. You haven't been on deck. Go ahead, get, or, uh, Derek. Hey, Kofi, what was Coach Underwood's message in the locker room? What was he like in there? How was he able to get you guys to, to flip the switch? Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, got, he got wild on us, man. You know, he roughed us, roughed, roughed us up a little bit, told, told us that we were slacking, you know, we weren't playing with the right energy and the right connection. And he just got on us. He told us that we we're a capable team. We we're capable of going out there, you know, turning it around. And, and that's, that's what we did, you know. Told us how to win. He told us to go out there and play defense, do what we do. You know, we've been doing a, a tremendous job lately of just locking in on defense and knowing personnel and stuff like that. So he just emphasized that and tells us that we should go out there and do what we do. What were the conversations like amongst the teammates uh, as you kind of rallied and maybe did the layup line before you got out there in the second half? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of trust in our locker room, you know, like everybody trusts each other, everybody loves each other. So, you know, we take we take positive, we take negative criticism or whatever, positive, positive criticism and, you know, we, we basically listen to each other. Ayo came to me, told me I got to step it up. You know, Georgie came to me, told me I got to step it up. We tell each other and we, you know, we, we trust each other and, we, and we, we love each other. So we don't take it the wrong way. We listen, you know, we go out and we do it for our teammates. You know, we do it for the guy beside us. Hey, Gavin Good. Gavin Good, you're up. Uh, Brandon Simberg on deck. Hey, Kofi, uh, second game in a row where you guys really, you know, kind of taken some punches and then roared back. Um, what does that just say about your guys' ability to stay together? I mean, you're just talking about how close you guys were, but but is that a is that a sign of strength for you guys? Yeah, it's definitely a sign of strength. Not not only not only physical strength, but like mental toughness. Um, you know, we're a team where we don't let anything phase us. We don't we don't we don't get held down. We don't hold our heads down. You know, we, we know what we're capable of doing. And like when you're that positive, when you're that like confident in yourself and your teammates, you know, nothing really holds you down. So if we get a couple punches. We know you know it's it's going to be a dog fight every day in the big every night in the Big Ten. And you know, we get a couple punches. We know we. We're gonna go out and we're gonna punch back. You know, we're gonna stay in the fight because that's what we do. You know, so it's just about this, us being confident in each other. You know, knowing what we're capable of doing and just going out there and knowing that yeah, we're gonna play for the guy beside us. You know, we have a great, great coaching staff that helps us prepare for the games. You know, so th thanks to them, we're ready for the games and prepared. They know what we're we're going to do. 
Absolutely. Um, and then you guys outscored them 53 to 13 in the second half. That, that's one of the most dominant halves I've ever seen. Um, were you surprised that, that you guys were able to go on a run like that? Nah, not surprised. Like I said earlier, you know, we, we, I, I think that we're the best defensive team in the country, period. And like, you know, when we go out there and we're active, we're talking, you know, you saw, you saw how guys flew around, you know, we have, we have a guy like Trent Frazier that, that he takes, he takes his, 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 his like his, 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 his man, he takes it to heart. You know, he, he wants to dominate him. He wants to hold him with zero points. We have a guy like Ayo Desuma, which is a great leader. He wants, he wants to be great, you know? And then you have me, you know, I, I take challenges. So we have a really good, we have a really good, really good defensive team. And we go out there every day knowing that we're that good and we're going to show the world, that, show the world how good we are. Thanks, Kofi. Okay, Brandon Simberg from the DI. Go ahead, Brandon. Kofi, uh, immediately in the second half, you, fin you finished an offensive rebound and you were fouled, and you kind of let out a, a roar to the bench. How good did that feel? Uh, great, man. You know, I love being pushed. You know, and Coach Underwood knows that. And like I said earlier, he, got, he kind of got on me a, a little bit, you know. And like, it just felt good showing that, yeah, I'm right here. I hear you, Coach. I got you, you know. It's just that, yeah, I got you. You know, showing him, showing that I'm capable of doing it, which he knows I am. Just a great feeling. <clears throat> and, that, and then after the game, I heard Tyler repeatedly say to you, I told you, I told you. So what was his message to you at halftime? He told me, he said, yo, you know, he knows what kind of player I am. He told me, he, he, like, he said, whenever dudes get on you, whenever dudes get on you, he knows what he's getting from me. And he basically told me, he said, yeah, I know what I'm getting from you this half. You're going to go out there and you're going to put on the most dominant second half in the, in the country. So that's basically what he said. I, I told you, I told you. Okay, Rob uh, McCall, you're up. And uh, Alessandra on deck. Kofi, after you slapped the floor, it became kind of infectious. Uh, I was wondering whether that generated from you or was it because uh, it used to be a Duke thing and, and Chris Collins was a Duke guy? No, nah, I mean, that's all Ayo Desumo, man. That's all Ayo, you know? He was, ex he was ecstatic, you know? He got, in, he got in this feel, he got in this mode, you know? In this competitive mode. And he just felt like, yo, he told everybody running back on defense, he said, slap the floor, slap the floor. You know, we all connected and we all did it. That's all Ayo. All right. Thank you. Hey, Alessandra, you're up. Um, and um, you're up. Go ahead, Alessandra. Uh, I know you guys had a great second half, but was there one moment that was kind of the turning point for you that you guys knew, okay, we're back in the game and we have a great shot at winning? Yeah, the first couple stops we got in the second half, I think those were big time for us because we, we converted and we, we created good offense. And, you know, it's always good when you, when you get momentum on the defensive end because that, that boosts your energy level and, that, and you know, you're, you're talking now and you're active. So like it's always like, like that was definitely a turning point. Just getting those couple stops in the first in, in the first couple minutes. Okay, Joey Wagner, you're up, and Jeremy on deck. Go ahead. Hey, Kofi, fifty-three to thirteen in the second half. Have you ever been a part of anything like that in your basketball career? And what is that feeling like on the floor? I've never been. I've never been to anything like that. Um, and you saw it, man. You saw how we acted to it. You saw how I was in awe, man. Like. Just being on the floor, you know, watching that happen, being a part of it, it was a really good feeling. I, I can't explain how, how happy I was, you know. I was in so much joy. I didn't, I didn't realize fatigue, like everything, everything lost sense, you know. I was just out there running, playing, enjoying myself. That's a really good feeling. Was it sweeter just because that first half, we haven't really seen you guys play a first half like that in a while. Would that make that second half better? Yeah, that made it better, and the challenge made, made, it, made it ultimately better because – the coaches got on us, you know, and we we love proving to, we, we we love proving the guys that you know what, what we're capable of doing, and like the way they got on us, and like we just we connected, we came together. That, that's that connection that we had, you know. And we came together, we didn't hold our head down, we didn't talk about anything. We had, we had a couple of dudes have, have a bad first halves, and we just came out there and we swung back, you know. So that, that, that that's definitely it. Just taking the challenge, you know, being being, being pushed by the coaches. Okay, Jeremy, you're up. Orlando on deck. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, Kofi, uh, it's hard to reconcile the difference of those two halves, right? So how do you explain, you know, what that first half means for you guys and what that second half means for you guys moving forward? Yeah, the first half means a lot to us because, you know, we realize how, how good we are, you know, coming out there being down 15 points, you know. We, we, they, they threw a couple punches, you know. We, we got punched, we got, knocked, we got knocked down. And just like, we, we, like, like, like I said earlier, we got back up, you know, we fought back, fought our way back in the game, and then we dominated so that first half definitely means a lot to us going into the into other other games because now we know that we're capable of coming back from being down so much, you know, coming back from having a sloppy sloppy um first half. So that definitely means a lot to us. And the second half, it just 
it just shows us how good we are when we connect and we play defense, you know? How much we, how much it means when we get stops and we come back and convert into good offense. So they, they, they both were good lessons for us. Thanks. Okay, Orlando and then uh, Shannon Ryan. Go ahead, Orlando. <clears throat> Kofi, you dominated. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we could. Okay. You dominated in that second half, especially on the offensive boards. Now, that's a difference between going to get a rebound, but you was out there grabbing them things. What's, what's going through your mind when you literally dominating in your head and you know you go out there and dominate? What, what, what's going through your mind? <laughs> coach, Coach, Coach Gus. Yeah, he told me, uh, he said, yo, you got to grab those, you know. Those are, those are money right there. You're missing money, you know. You got to grab those. He, he told me at the beginning of the um, first, second half, he told me going out there, he said, yo, you gotta have a great presence on the offensive glass now. You feel me? Because like he knows that I, that's what I do. You know, I dominate on the offensive glass. So that's definitely what was going through my head. The coach, coach talking to me, more the more the more the more. That's all he emphasized in practice and, and coming out in the game. If I don't go on the offensive glass, believe it or not, he runs me. So that's all. That's all I think about. Yeah, that's the one more uh, thing. Walking off the court, I saw you get a big hug from your AD. What does that mean to you? I mean, he bear hugged you. What What, what does that mean to you? <laughs> a lot man that means you know we're a family you know even when we down it's the same it's the same thing he comes in here when i'm holding my head down when we lose and he comes in and he picks me up you know we're a family in illinois and you know it's just a great feeling that know that these guys got your back no matter what you know perfect appreciate it okay last question for kofi tonight uh, shannon ryan go ahead shannon all right well you mentioned your coach getting on you a few times and um could you maybe share an example of one of those things and then um also just i mean does that take some time um, as a player, what does that mean to be able to take, you mentioned this, like taking criticism and being able to work with, with that. And this team has that. What, what does that also mean for um, how tough this team is or what you guys can do? Yeah, first of all, I knew what I was signing up for when I came to the University of Illinois, you know, and he like, coach, he expects great things from me. He knows that I'm capable of doing great things. So whenever I do mediocre or I, or I think that I, or I settle down, I think that I've did enough. He always pushed me to go, to go beyond, you know, so it's always great to have a coach like that pushing you past your limits. You get what I'm saying? So that means a lot to us because having that coach and having the players with a great mindset that we could take that criticism and still go out there and perform great, that's really good because that means we don't settle, you know, and we don't we don't settle for mediocre. We excel past that. Okay, thank you, Kofi. We appreciate it. I know coach is ready, so thank you. Thank you.